Good morning, 15th day of December 2023 and um, got some beautiful colours in the sky here about 25 minutes before sunrise and I've just come to see you and I'm walking down um, to a spot where I can I think set my camera up on a wall and maybe do a few longish exposures trying out the little filter kit that comes with the RX100. Okay, just beautifully tranquil and peaceful. Actually, it's not too cold either. Got a jumper on, but that's sufficient. I don't need a coat. So you can see I've got the little Sony set up with this uh, filter on the front. Uh, and I've got a three stop and a polarizing filter on. Uh, it doesn't come with much. I might have to order a few more if I can, because it's quite a good range. Uh, anyway, just trying to few longish exposures I've got just 10 seconds and that's given me on the back um, at f11 which seems to be the <laughs> maximum well the highest f number uh, on this camera uh, goes down to 2.8 at the widest uh, but that's only when it's uh, at 24 mils and the sun as you can see is going to rise over there we're not going to see it immediately uh, but it might as it swings around over the top of the uh, the fort that might be quite interesting right, so sunrise was now well it was three minutes ago so just expect what you see with the the intense light uh, behind the clouds where it will pop up and I'm just going to get myself so it'll pop up kind of behind the fort and uh, see if I can take a, a picture of that. Still some nice kind of colours in the cloud, a little bit, a little bit of pink. Uh, it's a very pleasant morning. So a very pleasant sunrise. I better head back. Um, and I hope you'll join me uh, either later on today or over the weekend. I hope to be out again, uh, taking some photographs on this beautiful island. Less than 15 minutes to go before sunrise now. There's just a hint of colour behind the lifeboat station. I think the sun is going to rise over there. Uh, so it's going to be behind the clouds very quickly after that. Um, so we probably won't see it rise. We probably won't see much um, after that either. And then it'll pop out and, you know, after maybe 15 minutes or so above the clouds. And that might be quite nice. So, um, the tide's quite a long way out. I think low tide was maybe 20 past seven. So about half an hour ago. Uh, just re wondering really, uh, where's a good place to take uh, some pictures from? It's a beautiful, tranquil morning. So maybe just enjoy being out and just take the odd shot. There's nothing dramatic at the moment. Well, that was good fun. The 
the sun was kind of rising behind the lifeboat station. So I've been trying to get a few shots. It was only out briefly before it disappeared uh, behind that bank of cloud. You can see where the glow now is. The sun is somewhere behind there. Beautifully tranquil scene. Um, luckily, I, I chucked the Panasonic with the 720 mil equivalent zoom in and I was taking some pictures with that. So I'm really hopeful <laughs> they might have come out all right. And I also use my RX100 to uh, take a few as well. So maybe, maybe they'll come out okay. We've still got a bit of pink on the horizon. I'm going to make my way out now a bit further uh, out towards the tide line. The tide quite a long way out. Uh, it is on the way in, so I've just got to keep one eye on it really. Um, but I think when the sun comes out, it might illuminate the landscape in a really quite pleasant way. So Maybe that's the next uh, opportunity that will present itself. What a beautiful morning. Shouldn't need to tell you, it goes without saying that uh, I've got a coffee with me. Essential requirement on mornings like this. You could argue that the clouds, the sky, and the sun are also subjects, but essentially the only subject I've had this morning is the lifeboat station, which is a very beautiful structure. And uh, you can see it's, it's really quite good fun trying to photograph it. You've got these uh, wisps of light uh, reflecting on the clouds, which makes it very, very pleasant. And I, I'm just kind of waiting for the sun to burst out, which I guess will be maybe about there, 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 maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, I've come round a little bit. I'm, I'm very close to the water. I might even try to get to this little kind of little beach that sticks out a little bit uh, to position myself for when the, the sun actually breaks through and it through. And again, it's going to be very, very momentarily. And. Um, Maybe I better put it on a, my little tripod because uh, I might have to bracket the exposures. Uh, we'll see. Magnificent again, really, really good. I'm just shooting um, towards the lifeboat station still, and then hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, I might get just a brief opportunity when the sun pops up there uh, to photograph coming back this way. But we'll, we'll see. What, what a what a glorious sight! Right, enough of the lifeboat station is too bright over there. So I'm just gonna try, get myself in a position maybe to take some of the tower, uh, the, the Benedictine, well, the remains of a Benedictine priory built after the Norman conquest, which uh, replaced a previous Anglo-Saxon wooden structure as a, well, a church, and was given the name St. Helens after um, Constantine's mother, the first uh, first religious pilgrim that we're aware of, who went to the Holy Land to get pieces of the cross. Anyway, that's where St. Helens get its, gets its name. Um, oh, the sun's about to disappear. Can I get a picture or two? Well, another highly enjoyable morning's photography. I think I'm going to leave it there as the sun disappears behind the cloud and then it'll be really high 
when it pops out again. Hopefully it will pop out again. <laughs> um, I better be a retreat. I, I seem to be in the process, or maybe I've already been cut off. So let's see. <laughs> let's see uh, if I have a route back. Uh, uh, not a completely dry one, it would appear. So uh, <laughs> got a bit carried away there. Uh, hopefully, um, hopefully my shoes. Uh, oh, gee, that looks quite deep. Um, yeah, the tide continues to come in. So uh, this seems to be the shortest gap. Uh, anyway, yeah, as I said, very, very enjoyable. Hopefully, I've really got my fingers crossed for one or two of those images. I've always kind of wanted to get the sun rising behind the lifeboat station. Oh, God. These, this is quite deep. I'm just going to go fast. They are Gore-Tex. Oh, look at that. Just, just if I've left it a minute or two later, that water would have been piling in over my uh, boots and into my socks. Look at that. What a lovely scene. Okay, so uh, very sadly, going to leave this behind, but hopefully get out for a walk in the sunshine later on today. It'll be very nice. Um, so, I'll put on the pictures I took St. Helens Fort and I um, can't even remember what, uh, what I was doing the day before yesterday. Uh, yesterday was completely rubbish. Uh, cloudy all day, not even a glimpse of half decent photography conditions. So, um, thank you for joining me this morning and I will see you on the next one.